Happy birthday as well. You always find a lady's courtyard. An solution. Get out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you'll miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us have the QFX R39. This is an AM FM shortwave portable radio. I got this off Amazon for a total of 15 bucks, and here it is. I never thought I'd review another QFX product again in my lifetime, but I decided to, what the heck. <laughs> yeah, these aren't gems for sure. That's why it says uh, QFX equals quality, maybe. Well, let's check it out. <laughs> Tune in and listen. AM FM radio with USB, TF, MP3 player, sweets, flashlight, gotta dig it. That's why I got it in retro collection. Wow, it doesn't look that retro, but I guess it's cool. Um, seven band shortwave. Okay, you get the idea. It's a picture there and some there. Let's come back. Oh, yeah, it's a party. <laughs> Got your radio? Yeah. <laughs> On the go. All right. Okay, let's open this up. Let's get busy. Yeah, QFX, not usually synonymous with quality. Yeah, you guys know that. Probably mostly watch my channel. All right, let's get some of this stuff out of here. Okay. The radio, they put it in bubble wrap, which is nice. And I think it's everything in the box. Okay, put that aside. Let's look at what we get. Okay, so first thing I noticed was a battery. I'm going to lower this down a little bit. Okay, so yeah, it runs on the wonderful BL5C, but it also runs on AA batteries. This little guy I'm going to use. Throw that aside. This is a, let's see, rated 800. They come in varieties of uh, 800, 1,000. Sometimes 1500, excuse me, 1500. But I think the the average is 1000. That's probably what they are, even if they're marked higher. So there you are, the battery. Keep it handy. Here we get a mini USB cable for charging the radio. Okay, like that. And the radio itself. Oh, wait, nope. I'm sorry. There's a bunch of paperwork. <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh, yes, yeah, their infamous one year warranty. QFX. Yeah. Um, look at that micro printing. Look at all this. You gotta pay to send it in. It's ridiculous. <laughs> the radio is like five or ten bucks. It's like, why would you send it in? It's pretty funny. Okay. <clears throat> For warranty service. And then they give you a bunch of instruction sheets in different languages. Um, uh, is that English? It looks like it. Mm, yeah, that is. Okay, so these are other languages. So let's go check it out. Operation. Okay, so you can load three AA batteries. It's good to know. Caution, warning. Really? <laughs> the lightning flash and arrowhead within triangle is a warning sign. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can really zap yourself with this one. I mean, the capacitor is like dinky. <laughs> Might hurt yourself with short, short circuiting the battery instead. <clears throat> okay, so here's the radio. Looks pretty nice. I will say the aesthetics are pleasing. Um, again, not sign of quality, but it looks nice. Uh, let's go over size. Five inches long, three inches uh, high, and we have a depth of one and a half inches. We'll do a little size comparison here. I always have my usual culprits on hand, the CC pocket. So you're probably looking at this radio going, boy, Totterbird, that really looks like something I've seen before. Yeah, this radio borrows a lot of uh, design elements from the supersonic 1080BT, which I have handy to my side here. We'll bring that out in a second. Uh, what else do I got? CC Skywave. So it's about as big as a CC Skywave. That's pretty cool. Awesome. And then deck of cards. Oh, your man, he's the man with the master plan. He normally doesn't like QFX from China Land. But he'll give this one a shot. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. So there's that. And then, of course, I was going to bring out the... There we go. Supersonic SC-1080BT. Um, yeah, they have almost every uh, identical trait, except this does not have Bluetooth. This does. Um, audio on the Supersonic is better. I'm already giving you comparisons, but I have to. The big difference, though, I noticed, you got so a lot of extra bands on shortwave here. But here, you actually get the 31-meter band right there, 9.2 to 
on the supersonic for some reason they omitted that um, but uh, yeah we'll tune this radio tonight and you can hear it a little bit during this video but right, let's get out of the QFX here all right star of the show right <laughs> let's see if it's got quality happening left hand side we got three LEDs boom okay that's not really bright um, did the battery quit? Oh, that's right. There's no battery in here. <laughs> it residual. Maybe that's the shock factor. <laughs> that's funny. Um, let's let's not make that in the sound. <laughs> I love it. I'm never gonna get this video done, am I? Um, fake tweeter. Loving that. Oh, uh, we have a speaker right here in the front under a metal speaker grill. Hey, nice, huh? Not plastic. Um, one and three quarter inch, about. I think. I'm gonna average maybe two inch if it goes past this little cool silver paint job edge there um qfx on the kind of a semi-gloss plastic on the front and like a flat on the back see it's kind of like painted almost there you go uh, over here we have fm our scales 88 to 108 it's got a log scale there that's kind of nice um, charge indicator we have a led indicator with mp3 modes activated we'll get to do that tonight um, am band you can see Shortwave bands, you can see it's on the lower side. Shortwave 1 starts at 4.3. You notice how the bands are structured. It kind of stops at 16. It's not that big a deal to me. I do listen mainly below 16. That's my personal listening. I don't know about you guys, but that's usually where I'm listening to most of my broadcast stuff. But there's that. Okay, and our switch here on the bottom, of course, you can access all those bands. So there's seven shortwave bands and FM and AM. Right-hand side, we have a tuning wheel. You can see it in the black on black. Volume control and our DC input for charging the battery. Top, we have the switch for the light that you saw light up for two seconds and stop. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have batteries in it. Why is it doing that? Um, SD card slot, micro SD uh, for playing uh, playback music. Here's a USB for playing back music. We're going to use that one today. Um, over here, we have the on off switch for the radio and to the MP3 function. And over here, we have uh, play pause. Uh, we have uh, track forward and fast forward. Yes, fast forward works really well on this radio. I was impressed by that. And then we have track back and rewind. So that's really nice when you have a simplicity, uh, simplicity, simple MP3 player. They have buttons that actually work, and you actually have fast forward and rewind. I do like that. I wish it had a repeat function, but uh, it's okay. It doesn't have to have it. Up here on top, this antenna, it's a simple bladed style. As you can see, it just goes up and down. Uh, it's 13 inches. And I'll go to the back of the radio. Well, the carry strap, as you saw there. As you can see, I have a piece of tape on here. I did that. Um, the screw is stripped out where the antenna is. It came that way. <laughs> so I covered this. is the quality, right? So I put some tape there so it wouldn't snag my cloth. <laughs> Here's our sticker. QFX, made in China. Oh, date, 9 of 2018. Wow, this radio's old. And, uh, somebody else must have reviewed it already. So open up the battery compartment. You can see it takes three AA batteries or a BL5C. So let's see if we can get our BL5C in there on camera. It's kind of a angle it in and then push it down. Okay, cool. I did notice that this battery door is much easier to put in than the Supersonics. Just line it up and there you are. You're done. <laughs> Supersonic gets a little different than that. Okay, so battery's in. Now my light will work. <laughs> okay, cool. Awesome. So there, there's that. So let's talk about FM reception. We'll do a little audio uh, check here with the USB player. Uh, so FM reception, I do this on a five-star basis. Most of you guys know this. Fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Um, typically with an FM radio analog, uh, okay to good is a good rating, like a radio like this, GE. Um, this will score about 48 stations found, which is okay to good. Nice average rating right in the middle. Uh, this scored above it. Uh, this has a DSP in it. And so that's usually better, digital signal processor, at uh, pulling out FM stations. This scored a solid good, found 63 stations. I set upstairs, uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, check for tropospheric ducting or any e-skipping going on, making sure you know, that's going to affect the test. And I go through the entire band and slowly, methodically check off every station I can find. So that's excellent. And then uh, FM selectivity was okay to good, because as you tune this radio, It'll lock on one strong station and pretty much eat up quite a bit of the dial and kind of obliterating some of the stations in between. If we had better selectivity, I'd probably have found more stations. But otherwise, a great FM radio and a halfway decent sounding uh, with this little speaker here. I like that. So uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do a audio check. So what I'm going to do is this, this little USB thumb drive. These are really nice to have. Low profile, especially for radios like this. 
It's a SanDisk, if I can remember. I'll have links below to the radio if they still sell it. <laughs> um, you know how they go out of stock as soon as they make the video. And then um, links to this little thumb drive. See how it, sticks? it barely sticks up. I like that. So we'll go ahead and turn it on MP3 mode. Hopefully it's not jamming. There we go. Run this for a few minutes. Like you said, idea for the uh, music. Let's go ahead. Uh, I usually have old time radio on here. I like to listen to that. Let's go so we can find some of that on here. The Johnson's Wax Program with Fibber McGee and Molly. Glow coat will make your kitchen linoleum glow with a bright look. When a housewife like Mrs. Molly McGee starts gazing thoughtfully around the living room with that I wonder how much it would cost to redecorate look in her eyes, it's high time that a man like Mr. McGee, who's been pinching the budget for a new bowling ball... <laughs> ...for this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde... As California. Well, Hoppy, what about our story? We call this one Black Grass Fever. Some folks don't realize it, but in the early days of the Great West, cattle ranchers had a great responsibility to the big cities in the East to keep the sense in a while if a rancher didn't. <laughs> the House of Squibb presents Academy Award. There you go, you get an idea. It's pretty cool sounding uh, with old-time radio, loving that. It's a good MP3 player. It hasn't broken yet. <laughs> you know, I, I know I've seen uh, videos where the radios just fall apart as they're using them. <laughs> uh, but there you go, cool. Have been nominated for the famous Golden Oscar of the Academy of so we're going to go ahead and switch it to radio mode. And we're going to take out the USB. And we're going to go ahead and hook it up to a little wire I have in my window. I'm in a basement, so I'm a sub-basement. So to get above the ground, um, this little wire is from a PL380. I think it's like a 12 to 15 foot wire. 
and uh, it's in my window blind on the inside and uh, it'll help so where do I just clip that on there don't need to raise the antenna there we go and we're gonna switch to shortwave one we'll work our way up the band there we are shortwave one turn up the volume and we'll hear what we can pick up when we start at the bottom there there we go There's WWV on 5 megahertz. It's got a strange tuner to it. It does work on strong stations. Okay, let's switch to band two, see what we can hear there. much happening tonight. During, during the day I found about 13 stations with the little whip antenna, so it's pretty surprising. So not a really good demonstration here. Right? We'll go one more band, then we'll check out the medium wave and show you how that is. Okay, not very active tonight, huh? All right, well, that's that's it for that. Okay, so PFX equals quality, eh, maybe not so much. <laughs> Let's put this down. Let's switch to AM. Okay, the reason why I bought this and the reason why I'm reviewing it is because people out there will probably buy this uh, and think this is a great radio and miss out on the fact that there's better ones out there. So we're going to turn this up. This is the AM band. So we're going to start at the bottom now. AM. Um, medium wave during the day. It's good for locals, semi-locals. It does have a popping sound like the Sanjin SR36 I just reviewed. You guys can search Tadabert 
Sanjin SR36 or just Sanjin 36. And you'll see my video, you know, from Tidebert. Um, yeah, it's got the same chip, I think. So QFX must be supplying Sanjin with the chip. <laughs> but uh, in the evening time, it did pretty well. I picked up some decent stations. So here's 530 CHLO, Brampton, Ontario, 441 miles. It's having a hard time locking in. It's the type of DSP. Here's local 560 WIND, Chicago. And I, I clicked on this, this gray gauze and it... Listen carefully. And then Mookie bats with an RBI double in the second inning as Pollock nearly got hit by a sinking... 620 WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's about 52 miles away from me, 10,000 watts. A time was a 1014 uh, p.m. Whoops, I turned this on. <laughs> there we go. 1014 uh, p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. Give you an idea where I'm at. So this is a pain to tune. I'm going to show you the supersonic in a minute. WSM 650 Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Um, like I said, back and forth trying to get that station. I don't understand why this guy has a job. I guess he has a job because the team... 670 the score, home of the Cubs. Better job selling Q tips than, uh, you know, putting a solid product on the field. Ooh. It was rehearsed. Ooh. And of course, the, the left hated this. And uh, what I said. 720 WGN Chicago. To be disruptive. And Donald Trump was. Donald Trump. So there's Zoomer Radio, CFZM, 740, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. WGR hidden in there. Score, Yasmani Grandal homered and drove in the Sox runs. No word yet on who either team will start. Here's WBBM, 780, Chicago. In Oakland, the Cubs will throw you Darvish at the Marlins in a bit to keep their season alive. Yeah, you can tell that scale's way off. <laughs> Here's 840 WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, ground zero. About 300 miles. theories, racism, race hatred. Enter the restaurant and keep their food. He said it goes on. For their food. On the upper left side, CBS News Radio 880. So there you go. Barely, it's coming in and out. Um, just a weird sounding the way it comes in and out on this radio. WCBS 880, New York, New York, 750 miles. I'm going to go up the dial kind of quick, then I'm going to bring out the supersonic. Takes a step in with a dribble, now out to Hill. Hill from the left to Olenek. Hill trick. 1000 WMVP, Chicago. Injin Ryu was rocked for seven runs. He won an inning and two thirds. 
If you need life insurance, head on over to policygenius.com right now to get started. You could save 1500 bucks or more a year. Your weapon, which is God's word. And listen to what... For all the work Grover Cleveland did in cleaning up corruption during his time as sheriff of here... So it's not a bad tuner if you have the patience. Let's go to the top of the band. See where this tapped out at real quick. A sky wave. So this radio taps out sixteen twenty. You know, so yeah, <laughs> annoying. So let's go ahead, turn this off. Let me show you the supersonic real quick, and then we'll do final thoughts on the QFX. So supersonic, we'll go to the bottom of the band on the medium wave. So I think that's FM, AM. Turn it on. You can hear how this sounds. The reason why I'm showing you this is this includes Bluetooth, and it's the same price. And it also runs on a BL5C that comes with it, and it runs on three AA's, just like the QFX. Reading in 2020, For God and Country, the new book by Ralph Reed, available wherever books are sold. Mike Gallagher here. I'll have all the latest news and what it means to you tomorrow morning. Sorry, not... And now Daniel Vogelbach is trying to play. Two and two. Rendition of How's the World Treating You on the week that was in country music history. <laughs> So there's 650 WSM Nashville. Coming in good. These dedicated accounts and expanded. Do you worry about your bank from Tarkat? It's easy to make. Slash plan and make a plan today. Brought to you by Over for the Chicago Association of Realtors. A news. Not the smooth. You know, he's not the. We had to take him to the veterinary emergency room after he did. Mojo had skin issues, just constant. Sometimes you can see that they're in the soirée, or I'm going to be in the hair right off of his legs. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, can pick that up. Okay, just wanted to show you kind of how that is. You know what we ought to do too? Let's go to shortwave. I'm just kind of curious to see if it's a bad night or if the QFX just isn't great. <laughs> so we'll go to let's try second band. No way, we're way up on top. Hello. In-person fun things to do for singles. Rookie. <laughs> AM. One. I'm looking at it backwards because I was looking at the other one the other way. <laughs> uh, AM. One. Two. There we are.
Okay, you get the idea. It does work well. <laughs> I was on the Ross all the way up here. I think I was like on shortwave six there when I first started. Hello. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, rock on. Uh, so yeah, if you're going to be buying... Okay, let's bring out the QFX again. So final thoughts on this radio here. QFX uh, R39. If you want to buy this radio, go ahead, be my guest, have some fun. But know that there's a better radio out there in the form of the Supersonic. Um, yes, this radio is a much better radio. Better audio, number one. Definitely, you could hear the difference, I'm sure. I hope you guys could. Uh, it's got an MP3 player. Awesome. With the USB and micro SD, of course. And uh, it's got better controls. I mean, everything feels nicer on this radio. Well put together. This one does kind of feel painted and cheap. And yeah, it doesn't... Look at that. <laughs> this one looks like it's like, whoops, looks like this is even chipped right in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're going to be buying one of these radios, just, just go ahead and get the, the 1080BT. Forget this uh, QFX. Um, yeah, save yourself some time and effort. It's got that same tuner that the newer generation has that uh, this doesn't sound good. And uh, I'm surprised this was made in 2018 because I don't recall those DSP sounding like that in 2018. Uh, they were more like this here. So, yeah, um, <laughs> pass. <laughs> QFX, eh, halfway there. I mean, it, it works. <laughs> That's a bonus, right? The tuner didn't break while I was tuning it, right? That's a bonus. The switch works. Everything's pretty good. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like uh, reviews like this on QFX or different oddball radios, hit subscribe at the bell icon to notify the future videos uh, that entertain and show you what's out there for cheap. Um, of course, uh, comment below what you think about the QFX R39. Would you be possibly game to buying one and having fun with it? I know it has that uh, elusive shortwave 31 meter band right there. That's nice to have um, if you're an active shortwave listener. But this radio doesn't excel per se. But I think tonight was just a bad night for shortwave because uh, during the day, this did pick up quite a few stations. Uh, I will say that. And it picked up more during the day than the evening. That's usually rare. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed it. You guys take care, and we'll see you in my next video.